Today's creature of the day is the Synthetoceros. Its name means combined horn due to its middle Y-shaped horn. Though it resembled a deer, they were proceratids, a group of even-toed ungulates possibly closer to camels than deer. They had three horns, two above the eyes, and that Y-shaped one in the middle. These were used in territorial fights and in display. Synthetoceros was 2 meters, or 6.6 .6 feet long, and weighed 200 kilograms, 440 pounds. It lived in Mexico and these U.S. states. Wyoming, Alabama, Florida, Texas, and Nebraska. It's important to note that only males had large horns. Females had little to no horns at all. Synthetoceros lived during the Miocene 12 to 5 million years ago in forests and grasslands, maybe was even semi-aquatic like the modern-day moose. It ate plants and was the largest proceratid and was hunted by predatory mammals like Epicyon and Barborophilus. It went extinct due to a drying climate and the rise of different vegetation. It was described by R.A. Sturton in 1932, and there are two species, Synthetoceros tricornatus and Synthetoceros davisorum. In media, it's appeared in Ice Age, or at least this is believed widely to be a Synthetoceros. In video games, it's appeared in Jurassic World The Game, Jurassic Park Builder, Dinosaur Park Primeval Zoo, and the game Magistream. But the weirdest media appearance has to be in a cup noodle commercial, where they're portrayed kind of like groundhogs popping in and out of holes. It's like whack a synthetoceros. Oh yeah, also they're like kaiju-sized compared to humans. Well, that's an ancient mammal that looks a lot like a deer, even though it really wasn't. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment what other creatures I should talk about.